for Monday for Bay Area commuters. Chemical spill 880 northbound near Dixon Landing Road. Two lanes closed. DSP expect to have it cleared by 9 a.m. Shit. There's also a big rig stall on 101 southbound. Hey, Candace, it's Mel. I'm going to be a little late. I'm stuck in traffic. Can you believe some guy next to me just tried to pick me up? Are you familiar with the concept of napkin? No. Here, did you want some? Do the letters P I G mean anything? Danny boy, if I didn't know you, I'd swear you were an old lady. Whatever. Where in the hell's Harold? A giant donut or something? I am in lust! So let me guess, we must be talking about chips. This was no chick. This woman was a goddess. go last night. Yeah, did you uh, score or what? Do you mind? Robert, have some class. <sighs> you don't sleep with a woman on the first night. They want to be romanced. They want to know you care. They want to know you're more interested in their personality than their uh, tits. Now remember, you're in control of the situation. So you give them what they want. Do that to and her then... Well, well. What do you mean, 200 bucks? I've changed it myself a million times. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, listen, thanks for the free estimate, but I think I'll do it myself. Well, it's about time you showed up. Candace! I'm so excited. <laughs> the dynamic duo back at it again. Hun, you look fabulous. Thank you, so do you. Thank you. And we always do. I agree with that. Hey, where's Sally? She's tied up. We're going to save her a place for lunch later. Great. What time? 11.30. Okay. Great. Ciao. We'll see you later. <laughs> so all the old cronies are still there. No retirements or boating accidents, unfortunately. Oh, God. And Walt? <laughs> Gosh. Sally. Same old thing. Pinch here, fondle there, mostly to the support staff. Yep. Been there and had it done, too. Thank you very much. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, what about Mark? Fired. For what? Yeah. The real reason? Yeah. Because he was gay? Get out of here. They Don't can't do that. that. Hun, we're talking about men in the 1800s here. Don't okay? even go there with me. I'm so glad I left that fucking place. But it's everywhere, though. It's the mindset. Do you remember the Cavalier account? Oh, yes. The phantom CEO that yells a lot. What was his name? Ross? Russ. 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 Okay. Well, Russ. I finally met him. Ew. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Thanks. Thanks. 
see, Walt was assigned by Cameron back east to oversee the account personally because of mucho dollars involved. Then Walt fucked it up and stuck me with the cleanup. It's very difficult to hook consumer interest in a product of this type. Now, I personally have seen to it that the account has been reassigned to a new account executive, and I'm personally working very closely with this person to see that this kind of problem... Cameron promised again. me I would see results in three months from the day Adler and King took over. What I saw a year later was a, a beeline straight into the fucking toilet. Now, Stu, what in God's name has Walt been doing with our account? And where's the fucking report? And who the hell is this, uh, what's his name, Mill? Ross, this is... And, uh, leave the report over there, would you, and get us some coffee? I take mine black. Actually, I'm Mel. You know these men. God is going to get them all one day. Not if we get to them first. <laughs> That's right. I agree with that. What about Jack? Is he still around? Oh, yeah. The one with the gorgeous butt and a nice guy, too. Are you two still dating? What are you looking at? Nothing. I'm sorry. What did you say? Are you two still dating? No, we are not still dating. And yes, he's still a very nice guy. What happened? Well, Jack is one in a million, and... I love him dearly, but I just wasn't ready to get married. Excuse me. He asked you, and you turned him down. Uh, hello, Miss Melanie. Was anyone home upstairs that night? Honey, I'd take him in a heartbeat. Well, I did tell him I'd marry him when I'm 50, if I'm still single. Yeah, 50. Whatever. Speaking of men, let me give you a sample of the kind of men we have at the company. See that table over there? Come on. Really now? I will start with the guy in the middle. That's Bob. Now, don't let that suit fool you. He's actually still living in the Ice Age. No kidding. Bob is what you would consider as the lowest form of the male species. <laughs> yeah, what a Neanderthalus. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, then, then there's Dennis. Oh, sweet Dennis. Now, he's the one on the left. Dennis is the ultimate yuppie and has all of the toys to prove it. Now, he's upper crust. Mm -hmm. Nice to look at. Mm -hmm. But totally self-absorbed. Anal. <laughs> Preoccupied with looks and obviously designer suits. Yeah, but I wouldn't mind doing him the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh, oh, then we have Harold. Now, he's an interesting one. You see, Harold thinks he is a real connoisseur of women. He truly believes that he knows what women want. He's a smooth talker, and he comes across so sincerely. But it's all part of this, this game, you know, um, a, a conquest that he's so overly consumed with. The predator sizing up the prey setting up the trap before the big kill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a non-committal and has an ego the size of a Boeing 747. Now, he probably has the ability to be a nice guy. But until he grows up, he's basically a pompous ass. Yeah, but what an ass. I can look at it all day. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs>